that's some commitment right there. If you like this drone footage, give Tim a thumbs up <laughs> for his poor wet shoes, but his commitment to get our drone back and these shots. I'm Kelsey, that's Tim, and this is our rolling home Dusty. We hit the road full time a few years ago to follow our dreams of driving around the world, and we headed south. We did it. COVID brought us back to the States, but there is plenty of adventure to be had here while we wait out the pandemic. So come along and enjoy this crazy ride we call life. Today, you join us on the Kenai Peninsula, where we were making our way towards Homer on this cozy, rainy day. Well, we made it to Land's End in Homer, and just about the only thing open was the Salty Dog Saloon. So we popped in for a beer. Then it was back the way we came to find a place to spend the night. Home sweet home for today, not too shabby. There's Dusty back there, and there's a few houses up on this cliff up there, and then one other truck camper way down there, but it's a dually, so I think he stopped right when the uh, sand wasn't sort of a gravel compacted sand road anymore. And so we just off-roaded down here. So many campsites in this area, and even like the official campsites, most of them are free, so that's kind of cool. Um, and if we wanted facilities, I think then you're just paying for showers, etc. And then of course there are paid campsites too, but it's a cool area. I have to say Homer, although really neat, was so painfully touristy that, you know, you go into the little bar that even locals told us, yeah, go check that out. Locals meaning Alaskans, not, not local to down here. And it's a cool little hole in the wall bar, but 100% tourists. Guy from New York, guy from Massachusetts. Um, so it's, it's fine, but you know, we kind of were over Homer. I think if uh, it wasn't so late in the season, we could go to Soldovia. And I think we could go now on a plane, but the ferry just stopped doing its regular uh, human ferry, person ferry. The vehicle ferry is like every two or three days. Um, and that might slow down in wintertime too. So we're kind of over going to Soldovia, I think. So we're gonna head over to Seward, check that out and kind of see what's what's next. But it's just nice to be back on the ocean. I think both of us, there's something about being near the ocean and then walking into a harbor and just walking around docks and looking at all these working boats. It's kind of like going to a auto museum that has really interesting vehicles. Each one has a story and I just love looking at boats ever since I was a little kid. And thank goodness, Kelsey thinks the same way. So um, we both just like walking around harbors. But all right, I'll give you a couple shots here of our beautiful, beautiful camp uh, before we hop inside and watch a movie.
Tim's going on a uh, drone recovery mission, hopefully. He was flying it over there and uh, suddenly crashed. Hopefully we can at least get it back and hopefully it's okay, but it would be nice to have the footage too and the actual drone, but uh, we'll see if we get it back or not. And poor Tim is soaking his shoes in his socks in hopes of finding the drone. I hope he finds it. Oddly that it is flying, so I think it's okay. That's some commitment right there. If you like this drone footage, give Tim a thumbs up <laughs> for his poor wet shoes, but his commitment to get our drone back. And these shots, I give him a thumbs up. I did it. I did it. And it's okay. It is okay. Pick, you know, pick up the glue and... How warm is that water? It's not bad, honestly. It's funny. I thought like piercing pain. Eh, not bad. Wet shoes. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, just wet shoes. Good photo of the truck though, right now. Absolutely amazing. Hey, wow, big snowy covered mountain over there. Oh, wow, one right there. Nice river to fish right behind us here. And a big snowy mountain back there, and a glacier that we're going to hike to tomorrow. So that's Exit Glacier. This is so ridiculously nice. Um, this is an Overlander area. I wouldn't say spot. The spot was right next to the road there and it said, you know, you'll see uh, fire pits and people everywhere. Somebody said 200 people. It was a mess. Um, I could see that. I could see in prime time. But we're, you know, mid-September. Everything's closed. Well, a lot of things are closed. A lot of things are still open. And there's just nobody. There's uh, a rental Alaska Tour RV over there right next to the road. And then we're out here right next to the river and there's fire pits all over out here so it seems like it's okay we're not gonna have a fire you know leave any impact but uh, you can tell there's a guy who pulled over there he's shooting target shooting um, it's amazing though I mean yeah it's not super remote but it's just so Alaska that in every direction is a beautiful you know mountain with snow on it and then just around the corner over there where we can't see is a glacier we're going to hopefully hike to tomorrow. Uh, we'll see. Hopefully everything's still open there. I, I think they even shut the road up to the glacier like in late September. But being mid-September, I'm hoping it's okay. Yeah, super thankful. We were going to pay 40 bucks in town and be like, well, we don't normally pay, but, you know, we'll be on the, be on the ocean and it'll be cool. And all of them just kind of seemed trashy and you didn't get anything for it. You didn't get showers or Wi-Fi or anything, so pretty glad we came up here. We have decided to do uh, a hike because it's a nice day, sort of. It's a little bit rainy, but it's pretty mm -hmm. clear, so I think it'll be a nice day. Yeah. And we are going to try and go see the Exit Glacier. We have no idea how long the trail is. No, I saw too many different things, like an eight-mile hike, there's a four-mile, I don't know. So, we don't know, but it'll We're be nice go to walking. get outside. We'll probably switch to the GoPro because yeah. it's raining. So. It's raining, and we've already seen a tour bus show up. There's a lot of people And here. there's probably 60 cars in the parking lot here. So it's my, wild. my biggest question is what does Alaska look like when it's actually hopping when tourist it's, season? Because well, it's COVID. Both, both the sea, yeah. So we have we have a COVID uh, yeah. decrease, and then there's no eight thousand person cruise ships, which I guess Seward gets a bunch. 
uh, to hop on the train and stuff. I can't even imagine. I can't fathom. No. I guess last summer was even quieter though, so we're at the second quietest summer there's probably been in a long time. And being September, was it 16th or something today? Yeah. All the restaurants and, well, a lot of the restaurants and yep. stuff closed yesterday. So. Mm -hmm. And tours and all that kind of stuff. It's yeah. kind of like, we're done for the year. Yep. So anyways, we're going to go hike. Yep. Hopefully it's pretty. I think it will be. We're going to the Glacier Overlook right now. That's the first bottom hike. And then we'll see what we feel like doing based on how many people are around, I think. So far, there's a lot. A lot, a lot. That's okay. It's pretty and it's nice out. Well, between the amount of people and the rain, we decided to head back to Dusty and into Seward to see if we could find somewhere to grab some food. But turns out nothing was open until later. So we posted up here in the harbor parking lot where we did a lot of work, watched boats come and go. It rained most of the day, but in between the rain, we walked the harbor and headed over to check out the local fishing spot. And eventually this little bar taco shop opened up and it was pretty good. So we had some dinner. Then we headed back to last night's campsite, which is where I will leave you. Thanks for watching and come back next week as we start to see the seasons change in Alaska. It's starting to get cold. We'll see you then. Sure sign it was cold last night. The entire lake is ice. That's wild. <laughs>